Uh, Donovan, uh, not the result, end results you wanted, but it was a fairly good defensive game today. Can you talk a little bit about that before you go to the floor? I think we paid attention to what we had control over and we executed accordingly. Um, couldn't be more proud of the guys, our senior guys and the rookies that were putting up a good front. Um, can't say I'm unsatisfied with the way things went on defense uh, or offense, but um, I think we set the tone for the younger guys going on next year. So I'm pretty proud of it. Questions from the media on their Zoom call? Yeah, Donovan, we were just talking to staff, and the last thing he said was he's spinning his tires trying to figure out how you guys are not in the playoffs. I, I'm wondering, when you guys look at the standings and you see the two divisions, and usually it's eight teams going in, or usually it's six teams going in, and you know what, if, if that was the case again, you might be in there. Do you, do, you, do you look at that and you say, I wish we had one division and things were normal and we'd be in the playoffs, or do you say, this is the way it is and we got to live with it? The way I look at it is that we set the tone for the guys who are going to be here next year to know that you're not always going to have control of everything. But when you do have think, when you do have certain things under control, you have to maximize on that. And we didn't have to be in the situation we were in. Um, and I hope they take that lesson, if anything, that um, just make sure you get on what you can get on. Things are not always going to go your way. But um, I just hope we set the tone for next year. Just to follow up then on what you just said, we didn't have to be in the situation we were in. What do you look at from the year and say, that was different, that was different, the result is different. Where do you look at, at you know, what you, you say you don't have to be in the situation, what could have been different? When I look at the year, I would say um, every, everybody makes mistakes, but we could have cleaned up the mistakes a little earlier. I think that's just always the case if you're in a situation like this. So not to say that, you know, not to discourage the improvements that we had but we could have got on it a little earlier and there's always going to be those spots where you can look back and reflect and nitpick and i just hope that moving on next year these guys can look back and say okay this is where we could have attacked earlier and when they're going on to win their season win their championship it would be that much better because they picked apart where we could have won better any other questions yeah um, uh, I guess in terms of this, you know, big you and the seniors and stuff, this being, you know, your last Mac game, I guess. Um, looking back on your Mac career, I guess, kind of, um, what do you, what would you kind of remember the most about the experience? About these fans? Or about the experience? Oh, the experience, fans. yes. Um, I would say uh, Mac helped me to uh, build my character that much more. I'm ever grateful for everything that I learned, um, the extra discipline that got added to my character on and off the field. And overall, I'm just going to take the best of the experience and keep trucking along. And I guess just to follow something you mentioned in terms of helping growing a character, kind of, what are maybe kind of one or two of the, the biggest things that you kind of, that you grew or you learned the most kind of over the five years, I guess? I'll say discipline. I guess how, how so in terms of um, through the process? As I said, keeping your eye on the prize in a certain aspect of making sure you're doing the best you can do, controlling what you can control, and knowing that things that are not in your control don't have to be, and you can't always, can't always have control over it. Okay, thank you.